Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to solve an example or exercises on logic. We'll be analyzing these problems here. And the problem goes like this. It says, compute the truth table for the following statements. In my previous video, I've talked about what the truth table is. And I've also analyzed what the statement is. And also I talked about what, work, what proportional variables are. So from here, we'll start with number one. And number one says that the solution here, solution, we have uh, the negation of A implies B by implies the negation of what B by implies A, right? So the first thing you check is how many proportional variables do we have. When I mean proportional variables, I mean the variables you use to represent your statements, right? We have just two of them, which is A and B. So you're going to write A, and put the A here, and you're also going to write what? B. There are two of them, right? Now you now ask yourself, how many rows and how many columns? First of all, how many rows? There's a formula that says 2 to the power of n to get the number of rows. So n is what? Number of what? Proposition. n is the number of what? Proposition. Variables, right? So how many we have here is 2. So we're having 2 to the power of what? 2. And that is what? 4. It means proportional variables, the rows are what? Are 4. So what I'll do is... Since I have 4, I'll divide the first one into 2, starting with true. So here will be what? True. Here will also be what? True. Right? And the next one will be what? False. And the next one will be what? False. So this is what we'll do. Right? After that, I'm going to rule my line this way. I'll rule it this way. Closing them up like this them up this way right and also close this up this way so in doing that I will have this I will have this 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 now close this up also this way so from here if this is true true first first we are starting with two half two half this will be what one one so this will be true starting with true here will be what false. Here will be true. Here will be what false. So we are alternating. So we'll take the first two and we'll start, we'll start with the first one two. We'll start with the second one one. We'll start with the first one three. We'll start with the first one four. The second one will be what two. As we move forward, I get to understand. Now, the next thing is how many columns do we have here? Since I've taken A and B, right? The next thing I'm going to take will be negation of A implies b right and the next thing i'm going to take again will be negation b by implies what a right and this one i'll take again is the three of them which will be negation a implies b by implies negation b by implies A is what we have here. So I'll rule them out this way. So you rule them out this way. I'll have this. I also have this. I'll have this. So I can easily close them up if I want to. So I can easily leave them that way. This is what we have here. Right? So let me just do this to make it easier for me. So, now, this is true, true. Now, since I have negation A, I also need single of this also. So I'm going to put here negation A. Right? I'll close it up. I'm going to put negation B also. I'll close it up.
तो दिस इज व्हाट वी हैव हियर दिस वे ओके व्हाटएवर यू डू दिस your final value should come last so i mean i would have written this before this but it doesn't really matter so from here negation a when you say the word negation means the direct opposite of what a statement so if the truth value of a here is true it means negation of a will be what false here is true here will be what false here is false here will be what true here is false here will be what true now if b is true here will be what false if here is false here will be what true if here is true here will be what false if here is false here will be what true that is what negation means opposite of what the real value is now we have negation a implies b now the truth of the matter is this negation a here is what f right then implies b b is here is what true whenever f comes before true your total value is what is true but whenever true like for instance now negation a here is what false negation negation yes yeah, if it is false false we will have, what i'm trying to say is this negation a here implies b so negation a implies b so if the false is at the base here before the true here we we'll have what true now we have false here and false when the values are the same we we'll have true when the values are the same we we'll have true right when the values are different this is true right and this is false it means true implies false so when true is coming first before the false here will be what false are you with me when false is at the base of the arrow and true is at the tip everything is what is true but when true is at the base of the arrow and the tip is false everything is what false now we we'll come to this by implication this is what i used to remember this is plus times plus is plus so if i come to and they call this symbol by implication right so if i have negation b by implies a right so once it is false true we'll be having false that is plus times minus give you minus plus times plus we give you what plus so true true we give you true false false we give you false we give you true right false true we give you false so i use this this sign of saying your normal arithmetic we say plus times plus we give you plus means true true we give you true minus times minus we give you plus that means false false we give you true then minus times plus we give you minus and so on and so forth then plus and minus we give you what minus now we've done that then the next one is the same thing here both of them are by implying each other here so if this is true false here will be false if this is true true we have true 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 we have true false false we have what true right so this is our answer for this now let's check the other question that says a this is number two this is a by implies b or c by implies b l implies negation of what a right so let's do that and see how we can analyze that now first of all the first thing you check you check the number of variables we have what one two three that is abc and the number of 
column number of row is 2 to the power of n where n is number of what proportional variables so for me we have 2 to the power of 3 and that is what 8 so our number of rows is 8 so i'll start by saying we have a we have b we have c so the rows will be 8 so if c is 8 divided into 2 the first proportional variable, um, variable we have true 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 the first four will be true and the last four will be what false are we good the first four will be true and the last four will be what false so we have true 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 false 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 true now the next thing you do is if this is the first four is true then you will be two to now you take it so the first two will be true the next two will be false the next two will be true the next two will be false it will be what alternating then since you start with four you end with two then the last of the word one one starting with true so here will be true here will be false here will be true here will be false here will be true here will be false here will be true and what here will be what false so these are the eight of them. So I will just rule a line to make them well positioned. Have this. Have this. I have this. And then this. So I'll close them up this way. Right. Now in doing that, I'll rule a straight line from here to this point take it to the last point here now and this one also can take it to the last point too so from here we have this now let's see how that goes so if If this is this, right? Let's see how that goes. So, if you look at the next single one, is this to so have negation word A? I will close it up. Then, another one again. No, take them two by two. A by implies B. Close it up. The next one is what C by implies B. I'll close it up. Then we have both of them now. Both of them now we have this. So B. I have this this way. And everything all together A B then O C B all together in addition A right so we have that guy here so now from here I can now through I took them single, this and this first, then both of them, then all of them. So you must ensure that your last your equation here should be the last thing written. So now this is what we actually have, right? So from here we have negation of a that means the opposite of all what we have here. So this is T, so this will be F, 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 T, 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 right? Now this I told you, when you have this, it's just like using plus times plus, we give you plus, minus times plus, we give you plus. So for both of them, plus, plus, uh, true, true, give you true, 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 we give you true, true, false, we give you false, true, false, we give you false. False true give you false. False true give you false. 
false false will give you true false false will give you what true they like plus times minus minus times plus just like that so for this c and b c and b the same thing happens we have true false false true true false false true right now the next one is this both of them and we have all and for all it is only true when at least one of the values are true so for both of them since one of them is true you put true one of them is true you put true one of them is none of them is true yes so it will be false this is one of them is true true we have true we have false since both of them is false there's one true here so everything will be true and we have what true now the next one will not be this implies this so if i'm taking this i'm also taking negation of a so i'm dealing with these two here this one so i told you when the true is at the base this is the base here so it means true is at the base so everything will be false when true is at the base everything will be false but when false is at the base when both of them is false everything will be true when both when the truth is at the base right everything is what false when both of them is true everything is true when the force at the base everything is true when both of them is true everything is true when both of them is true everything is what true right so i explained it in the previous example so this is where i will call it a day if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also don't forget to like thanks for watching